What up, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler with TarverAcademy.com, and I am so excited to be talking to you today. Um, today we're talking about school-wide policies and AUPs. If you could please subscribe, I would appreciate it. Uh, and let's get started. So, um, the first thing you need to know is what is this? I mean, that's, that's the first thing you need to know. That's what we're talking about. Um, school-wide policies. Um, AUPs, that's your, your school's acceptable use policy. And so, it's like in there together. So, they're, they're interchangeable, but you get the difference. So if someone says AUP, they're talking about your school's policies with regards to technology and the uses of materials. So um, what this is, is it is a school's, uh, essentially their limitations or their, their bubble of which they're allowing their students, teachers, and staff to work under with regards to the internet and the computers, okay? So um, they're gonna have different levels at different schools. So for instance, a lot of schools might not allow people to use YouTube at all. They might limit that from anybody. I don't, I don't agree with it. I think it's an incredible tool as you are on right now learning about. Um, but they also can put limitations on the video so they can turn on a restricted mode on YouTube and limit any video that might have you know, curse words in it or have inappropriate materials. And so uh, a lot of schools are trying to get a grasp on it. It's, it's very difficult and you know, whenever I was a director of tech for school, like we had a lot of trouble um, you know, kind of policing this because it's just the internet. It's got a lot of workarounds and students are smart. Uh, especially when it comes to being able to use the internet the way they want. And so what we would do is we would try to set limitations, block certain sites, um, try to open up as much freedom as we could because we believe a lot in allowing students to make mistakes, correct, and learn from it while they're young, uh, before there are big consequences. But whenever you're looking at your school's um, acceptable use policy or the school's policies within your building or your district, um, it's really important to look at what are my materials, like what are they using? Are they using Chromebooks, iPads, all the things they're using, seeing how you can police that, either through you know your servers or however like you're pushing that out or if you're using just the Google Admin Console for it um, or if it's your access points, whatever you're using to, to police that or to, to be able to police that, um, that's gonna come into account and or you're gonna have to take that into account whenever you're doing this because if that program is limited on limiting other people, then you're not able to to put that into your use policy based on that. Um, also, you have, just have to have clear lines of consequences for teachers, staff, and students that um, step over those boundaries. Uh, and I, I've never been a proponent of, oh, the kid did something on the internet, or wrote something, or typed something, or posted something, let's take away their computer for the rest of the year. I mean, if they got a textbook out and they wrote something inappropriate in there, would you take their textbooks away from the rest of the year? No. We need to figure out what is best for our school and our building to help our students learn how to be responsible with the internet and not infringe upon the rights of people you know, on the internet with their material or the people in the class with them. So take that into consideration as well. Um, use those materials to help come up with your school's acceptable use policy. Um, and also be aware of it, don't not know. Most schools make students and teachers um, and staff sign something at the first of the year, letting them know like, hey, we understand what we're allowed to do with regards to these devices and the internet and we want to be responsible with it so read through that so you know um you know saying oh i didn't read the thing i signed it's not a great excuse for not following your school's policies so that's it if you're in charge of making them make sure you get a committee of people that can have a discussion about it because it's always good when principals are enforcing stuff that they actually believe in and that everybody is aware of what they are and are not allowed. And there's, I've seen a ton of times, people will mess up and break something within our acceptable use policy just because they didn't know. So make sure you explain stuff. And while it may make sense to you and you may be familiar with it, not everybody is. Terminology, um, limits, how to do stuff, just be as clear as you can. So hope this helped, hope you learned something. If you could, please uh, subscribe to this YouTube video and, uh, or this YouTube video, or subscribe to this channel. Uh, I've got a ton of education series you can join in and I'd love to hear your voice on. So thank you guys. Tyler with TarverAcademy.com. Y'all be safe. Be the hero in your classroom. Peace. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to come train you on Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here.
just gonna wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow. 